Hey guys, I'm Mike with The Wandering Wolf, and we're at the Belize Raptor Center. Hey guys, we are here at the Belize Raptor Center. We have an opportunity today to come in here and see some amazing wildlife. Some of these birds um, are just going to be absolutely stunning. We can't wait to see them. So the Belize Raptor Center actually rehabilitates injured and um, orphaned birds and um, they get them back healthy. Most of these birds, they cannot be released back into the wild. Um, so we're gonna see some examples here of uh, what they've got to show us. Let's go on in. The Belize Raptor Center sits just outside of San Ignacio and offers a free interactive show every Monday through Saturday at 1.30 p.m. The shows both educate the general public about these beautiful birds and also develop healthy daily routines for them, which helps in their rehabilitation. So, welcome to Belize Raptor Center. <laughs> All right, so what we do here is everything from rescue to rehabilitation, releasing um, falconry style with our hawk eagles that Marcia does. Marcia does? Marcia. Marcia. And then we also, we can't actually release the birds because of some problem that you'll actually learn about with these birds. We train them for education. Uh, we spoke to over 10,000 kids in 2019, and we did 281 on site. Um, it's really exciting though. Yeah, really by good. April this year, we're gonna have a, a clinic here, an 18 by 20 clinic. Oh my goodness. Hi, Sterling. He's like, who do I go to? <laughs> oh, no, buddy. <laughs> and what kind of bird is he? He's a gray headed kite. Um, wow. Sterling here was hit by uh, two cars in his life. He's a gray headed kite? Gray headed kite, yeah. Wow, he's pretty. So in Austin, you'd have Mississippi kites pass through, right. white tail kites. Yep. Um, these guys is, go Central and South America. Sterling. Yeah. Right, so they're pretty lazy actually in the wild. Yeah. They sit, Starting. they hunt, um, they can go two, three days sometimes. The hawk eagles at least three days. Um, they'll gorge when they get a meal. So in captivity, in order to keep your bird healthy mentally and physically, you need to work them. Uh, birds in cages, especially wild injured birds, have been proven not to be very happy. <laughs> um, so by doing this, we provide some exercise. Yeah, the exercise, some mental stimulation. stimulation. Yeah. Sterling, perch. Good boy. Wow. So this is Skyler. Hi, Skyler. Uh, he's a plumbeous kite. Everything you're hearing right now is begging. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's a little beggar. As an adult bird, he oh. shouldn't do that. So he was poached as a pet. And when we got him, we couldn't release him because he actually doesn't know that he's a plumbeous kite. Um, so in the nest, what happens is when a mom bird brings in her food, the baby imprints on his mother, imprints on his siblings, so then he associates, right? right? Um, he views us as equals because when people took him as a pet, every time they fed him, he imprinted on that human figure. Um, that's not, you can't undo that in Birds of Prey. Now, once it's done, it's done. Um, so we can't teach him to become a plumbeous kite. <laughs> and this is called what again? An orange-breasted falcon. Orange-breasted falcon, okay. Yeah. Um, there's been a project going on here for 20 years now. Yeah. Um, formed by, started by Bob Berry from the Prairigan Fund. Uh, which is in Boise, Idaho. Um, but he has oh, been breeding wow. these guys and releasing them here um, as part of a propagation. Really? And there's only that we know of from helicopter surveys, there's only 52 left in Belize, 52 individuals, and they're set to go extinct in 2032. Wow. So she is so important for our education program. <clears throat> All right, so now we're gonna switch to owls. We're gonna try to fly her for you. It's gonna be awesome. Yes! We get this on camera, it's gonna be fantastic. Yeah. Her name's Ghost? Ghost. That's yeah. perfect. So fitting for a white bird that flies over, it doesn't make a noise. Do you guys know the Tito Alba? So this species of barn owl is the only barn owl that can actually hear a heartbeat 25 feet away. 
Really? Yeah, so they hear the rat's heartbeat. Um, and then they use the facial disc in their ears um, to triangulate the, where it's coming from. Um, they've done studies where they can catch 100 out of 100 rats just from hearing. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Is that, it's, really it's kind of like fur on her face. Oh yeah, it's very soft, soft feathers. So that's what makes them completely silent. Um, it's also serrated, the end of her feathers, so the wing can pass through it. Really? Unlike most raptors, um, it's not. It's solid, so that's why you get that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's this? This is a big owl. Okay, so this is our spectacle owl. Her name is Miss Luna. Oh, my goodness. Can I take a picture? Yeah. Miss Luna here, she's the oldest. Um, In all of our ambassadors that we have here, she's the oldest. Her age is about 25 years, human years. Um, These guys couldn't live up to 35 years. She's 25 years old? Yes. Spectacle owl where they would live is mostly broadleaf forest. Okay. And also their nest, they nest on ground. They are ground nesters. Um, their diet are mostly um, opossums. They hunt, they prey on double their sizes. Really? They go for opossums, armadillo, kinkajous, and also um, ferdolans, the poisonous, poisonous snake we have in Belize. Wow. Yeah, if you guys have any question more for me. That's amazing. So yeah. these guys are serious predators. Looking, looking at her feet. Oh my, yeah. That's how powerful these guys are. Golly. As we walked around the rest of the facility, we got the chance to meet even more of the birds under their care. There was Cora the Black Vulture, Athena the Crested Eagle, Akna the Black Hawk Eagle, and many more. It was simply incredible to see the love and care the people have for these animals and to see it get returned as well. Sarah, thank you so much for yes. taking the time today. We had an amazing time here. Can you tell everybody a little bit about uh, Belize Raptor Center if they want to support what you're doing here? Yes, absolutely. You can find us on Facebook, just Belize Raptor Center, and then also Instagram. Um, you can make donations through our PayPal. We're also a 501c3 in the States under the McCall Raptor Center and Avian Sanctuary. Um, so you can also make a 501 tax yeah. exempt donation if you'd like to. <laughs> um, Perfect, yeah. You can find us on all. We're in TripAdvisor as well as Atlas Oscura or some okay. new website they have out. All right, yeah. yeah. Uh, this, this has been amazing. If you guys are ever in the area, we're right outside San Ignacio. Yep. And come down and visit. And if uh, you're just watching from home, make sure to support. Check them out. Yes, Thank you. please do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching. We had an amazing time shooting this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and if you can, share the video. It really helps us out a lot. Thanks so much, stay safe, and have a great week.